Hello, this is Tim from Racing Central with an unboxing of the Amiga version of Days of Thunder. I have a couple of different versions, as you can see. Uh, both of them uh, exactly the same format, um, although one of them advertises itself as an international version, even though they're both exactly the same. It's a beautiful cover design. Obviously, it uh, focuses pretty heavily on the um, the cars that featured heavily in the movie. You can see the international flags there, showing you um, what countries and um, or what languages are covered. It's a little bit worse for wear, obviously. It's um, it's been around. Really used to like this. It um, at the, at the time it came out, obviously it was uh, about as good as NASCAR simulations got. That's uh, the save icon that uh, the game came on. I know that the that the city Chevrolet at least was um a Hendrick car and I think the the mellow yellow car was uh I think Kyle Petty I think he won the the Daytona 500 in, in 1990 when Dale Earnhardt suffered a puncture in um like maybe final lap or something Obviously, it runs through the all the languages really quickly. It's just pretty much basic information, really. Yeah, straight into the other languages. All right, let's have a look at this one. Um, Basically, the reason why you used to get all of these different um, packages is because the game publishers would be trying to sell to the um, stores on the high street. And um, if that store was going to sell enough bulk of your product and their shelves were a certain size, then you had to design a box to fit on that shelf. And that's why you see a lot of... Um, changes in sizes and things like that is as um, different uh, different things became popular or unpopular with the high street stores they would have to adapt things obviously it uh, is exactly the same uh, label on that uh, the disc or the save icon uh, the manual again I believe it's exactly the same as the other manual. And uh, both versions um, have all of the languages on the game. You can see the track list on the left, um, basic instructions, um, and then it just moves straight into the other languages. But yeah, both... both um, both of these versions uh, supported all of these different languages, although one of them had the flags on the side of the box and everything, um, both were equally as supportive of all the languages. Um, anyway, I hope you uh, like that. Um, I'll try to put some gameplay up on the channel of this at some point, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Please uh, subscribe and like and all that good stuff, and I will be back with more. Thanks. Bye-bye.